Venus. Also known as Earth's fiery twin, is a planet full of extreme contrasts and mysteries. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often referred to as Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition. However, the conditions on Venus are vastly different from those on Earth. Venus has a diameter of about 7,520 miles, making it slightly smaller than Earth, and it takes about 225 Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. If we start looking up close, it's a very different world. Venus is about the same size of Earth, just slightly smaller. The structure is almost identical with an iron core, a hot mantle and a rocky crust. Its crust is full of craters due to it being the most volcanically active planet in our solar system. The thick atmosphere burns up smaller meteoroids, so only the largest impacts leave craters. The relatively young age of the surface, estimated at around 300 to 500 million years, indicates that Venus has undergone significant resurfacing events. This planet also has a very thick, layered atmosphere. The pressure is about 92 times that of Earth at sea level, equivalent to the pressure found 3,000 feet underwater. Venus's atmosphere is composed of about 96.5% carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that traps heat. Thick clouds of sulfuric acid also reflect sunlight, but the CO2 in the atmosphere keeps the heat from escaping back into space. This creates a powerful greenhouse effect that raises the surface temperature to an average of 869 degrees Fahrenheit. This incredible planet has been a target since the early days of space exploration. The Soviet Union's Venera program was the first to send probes to Venus, with Venera 7 being the first spacecraft to successfully land and transmit data back to Earth in 1970. But due to the planet's inhospitality, they were not able to resist much on the surface. With all of this information, some scientists speculate that between 2.9 billion and 715 million years ago, Venus was not so unwelcoming as it seems to be this day. Back then, the temperatures were only a few degrees colder than on planet Earth, and scientists also theorize that there may have been shallow oceans that could have hold enough water to support life. While the surface of Venus is extremely inhospitable, the upper atmosphere offers a more temperate environment. About 30 miles above the surface, in the clouds, the temperature and pressure conditions are much milder, and scientists have speculated that microbial life could potentially survive. As we know, Venus is not a good contestant for a habitable world yet, but because of this unforgivable environment, its brilliance makes it a striking and easily recognizable object in the sky. Its brightness can even cast shadows on a dark night and is often bright enough to be seen during daylight if one knows where to look, sometimes referred to as the morning star. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing space content.